Hello guys, welcome back to your ninth Python programming tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the time function. Now there's a lot of time functions, I'm not going to go over them all, in fact I'm only going to go over one. Now the reason I go over this one is because we're going to use it in a later tutorial that I figure I need to come back and cover before I actually show you another tutorial with this function inside of it. So what this function is called is time. Basically you're going to import time. Now importing time, it's uh, it's again it's got a lot of functions you can use I'll link a list of the functions in the description so you can just you know mess with some of that but I don't have a lot of time so I'm just gonna go over this one function again because we're gonna be using it in a later tutorial alright so without any further <laughs> without any further mumbling we're gonna go over uh, the time function now the time function will allow our time to sleep to pause and uh, basically those are two same things all right, so let's just say we wanted to print out hello world. Uh, print out you are the greatest being ever. Print I love Santa Claus. All right. Now, when we run this, you can see it just comes out in like a paragraph. Actually, it's not a paragraph. It's like a miniature paragraph. All right. Let's say we wanted to pause it like we were making some game like print like the elder master I have a gift for you young one okay uh, print older master <laughs> uh, I the gift is and for dramatic effect print elder master a pony all right a pony for my brony all right so again it comes out in like a paragraph form now if you wanted to make it dramatic what you do is you do time dot sleep and then the amount of seconds so we were gonna pause it for three seconds all right so to show you you can see it pauses right here for three seconds and then BAM right there a pony for my brony all right you can do that with any amount of seconds time dot sleep uh, let's do this one as two all right all the rest I have a gift for you young one the gift is dramatic effect all right, a pony for my brony. All right, so that's the basic sleep function, which we're going to be using a whole lot in later tutorials. That's why I wanted to go over it. Um, you can do really anything. Uh, print, do you like your gift? Y slash N. Uh, all right, print. Oops, no, we're going to do decide equals raw input. Um, I think, alrighty, if decide is equal to y, it's the same basic thing, print, I'm glad, oops, oh my goodness, you like it, else if decide is equal to, oops, that's spelled wrong, decide is equal to in, then print, time dot sleep, so make like, four seconds, print, how dare you, Time dot sleep. Print. I'm very. Oops. Again. I'm very annoyed at you. Oops. Very to spell very wrong. I'm very annoyed at you. Time dot sleep. One. Okay. Else. Print. That's not a choice. Oops. Alrighty. So you can see if we run this. And I have a gift for you, young one. The gift is a pony for my brownie. Do you like your gift? Yes, I like my gift. I'm glad you like it. Okay, to run this again it's for our no function, we're just going to let this thing load out. Uh, no, I don't like my gift. And he's like, he's shocked. And he says, how dare you? I'm very annoyed at you. And then it closes. All right, this is also very useful if you were to exit the program like print the program will close in five seconds time dot sleep uh, what you could do is you could just do this five dot system exit all right now we got to import system all right so you can see the program will close in five seconds five four three two one bam wait I counted too fast okay there we go all right, but what you could also do just for some effect time dot sleep one print five 
time.sleep one print four time.sleep one print three time.sleep one print two time.sleep one print one time oops system.exit actually no yeah system.exit all right now it'll give us a dramatic countdown look the program will exit in five seconds five four three two one there it goes all right so that's the basic sleep function again i went over this just one function so that we can use it in later tutorials i really don't use any of the other time functions again there is a list in the description of the time functions you can go there if you want to learn more uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later